When you're shooting photographs on a hazy day or looking at a landscape like this where the sky is a bit hazy off in the distance, photographers often use kind of a cool little device called a graduated neutral density filter. And it's literally a piece of glass that you screw onto the end of your lens where it's darkened on the top and graduates out to being a clear piece of glass. And what that does is it gives you more contrast and cuts through the haze of the sky. Well, the cool part about Camera Raw is that you actually have digital graduated filters and they're very flexible. You can do lots with them. Let's take a look at that. Up in the toolbar, you'll see there's this little graduated filter tool. You can press the letter G for that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what that does is switches the panels over on the right to a set of attributes that you can apply in a graduated way. So in like a gradient mask, if you will. So you can set things like exposure, brightness, contrast, saturation, and so forth, and decide exactly where you want that adjustment to occur by actually dragging out a gradient. So I want the sky to have more contrast, look a little bluer, not so washed out. So I'm gonna start up here towards the top of the sky. I'm gonna click and start dragging. I'm gonna hold the shift key down as I drag to make sure that I get a straight line. Now you can rotate this, I'll let go of the shift key, and you can make this be any angle you want. I'll hold down the shift key and continue to drag that straight down. And I'm gonna drag the red line right to about the wall here, right where the horizon line of that wall in the background is. And what this has done is created a green to red, so at the beginning of the effect and the end of effect. Right now, the only thing that's changing is the brightness value. So I'm actually gonna double click on the brightness and take that down to uh, back to zero. The graduated filter panel is remembering the last settings used, so I'm gonna take clarity back to its default. And what I wanna do is lower the exposure to darken that sky. And you can see as I move that slider to the left, only the sky is getting darker, not the rest of the image, because it's only occurring where this gradient has been drawn. And it's going from 100% to 0%. So if you wanna tighten up the effect, you can just redraw or readjust the gradient. If I click on the red dot and drag up, again, holding down the shift key to constrain it, you can see that gradient is being applied to a smaller area. And I can go ahead and drag that back down and make it even come into the car if I want. So, so that's really up to you. It's very flexible. Instead of just a rigid piece of glass that you have on the end of your camera, you actually have this as a very valuable tool and very customizable tool and put it wherever you want. Now you can actually create multiple gradient filters on the same image. If I'm happy with this effect, I can go ahead and lower the brightness down a little bit as well. Maybe increase the saturation. It's really up to you what you want to do with this. I'm gonna drag out a second gradient, and if you just click anywhere other than the inside of this gradient, or if you wanna be sure, you can always click the new button over here, but since I'm not clicking within an existing gradient range, I'll just go ahead and start clicking and dragging to drag out a second one. And since I'm dragging from the bottom to the top, the green is on the bottom and the red's on the top now, so it's just going the opposite direction. And you can see it's doing the exact same adjustment, but to a different region of the image now. So it's using the same settings, the great thing about these graduated filters is that they're, of course, non-destructive and they can be edited at any time. So if you want to go back and adjust it further, you can just select each gradient. If I click on one of the dots, it targets that gradient and I can further adjust it if I want the exposure to be just not so dark there and just lightened up a little bit. And maybe on the bottom one, I want that to be even darker. Again, you have a lot of flexibility in how you want to use these graduated filters. Play around with them. They're very interesting and fun tools. They actually are used for very practical purposes, but you can also do lots of creative effects with them as well by combining a bunch of these sliders to create an overall interesting effect. As you're using the graduated filters, especially if you start using more than one, the icons and lines themselves can be a little bit distracting. So you have a way to turn those on and off as well. There's a little checkbox here called Show Overlay, and you can either turn off the checkbox or you can press the letter V to turn those on and off. So V to toggle them off, V to toggle them on. It's helpful to see them if you wanna edit them, but when you just wanna view your image without that extra Chrome overlaying your image, just press the letter V on your keyboard to make them go away. And then of course, if I wanna see the before and after, I'll press the letter P, there's where we started, press the letter P again, there's where we ended. You can see I have a much richer looking sky that's not so hazy and blown out and has a little bit more depth and color to it.